You might think investing is difficult, it's risky, I need to hire a professional, I can invest later in life, I have to be a rich person to care about investing, or I simply don't have time to invest. I'm gonna show you why you don't have to worry about any of that crap and you can start being an investor today. Let's go. Hi, I'm Seth from Everything Money and our channel is here to help guide you through this concept of investing. I was in your shoes a few years ago. I had no clue. I got into some bad investments and we don't want you to do that. We don't want you to lose money, so stay tuned. Misconception number one is that investing is difficult. Buying a stock and investing in a company, becoming a co-owner of a company can be done in as little as 10 seconds. Knowing what company to buy and what to avoid is the difficult part. He ain't lying. That's right. But avoiding those fake and risky investments takes practice and research and we can help you. Yes! It's a new language. So over the next couple days, you might need to learn 10 or 12 different new key phrases to start your investing journey. But in the end, the safest way to stay on track is just buy a low cost index fund with very little fees and you'll do great. Investing in something like SBY or VOO tracks America's company. So you're basically betting on America and that America is gonna do great over the next 50, 60 years. And doing this has had a great track record and a good return for the past 140 years. If you're watching this and you have a confusing job with weird terminology that normal people don't know, this is the same thing, you have to learn. The best part is this channel can help you. Number two, people think investing is risky. It doesn't have to be. Let me be very clear, buying speculative concepts like cryptocurrencies and companies with grand visions but no product, th this is incredibly risky. Just ask the Bitcoin or Terra Luna lovers of the world. <laughs> hey, come on! Or all of the growth stock fans out there that have gotten completely obliterated in the first half of 2022. What we're trying to stress here at Everything Money is that you can invest in a safe, low-cost ETF or find individual stocks with great balance sheets, little debt, and a proven track record of success. I personally think that not investing is more risky than investing. The risk is you end up being an old person and you simply don't have enough money to retire or let alone live on. If you let your money sit in cash in a bank or one of those high interest yield savings account, which is not high interest at all, you're not taking the steps and taking advantage of compounding interest and time that can balloon your savings into an incredible amount. I have a friend whose wife was incredibly resistant to investing at all. They had their life savings in a high interest bank account that was giving them like something like 1.7%. And thankfully he contacted me, watched our show and started learning. Less than a year later, he's become a seasoned investor and options trader with the goal of returning around 12% per year, which is way better than his old 1% and twice as good as any mutual fund. His non-risky investments will give his family tens of millions of dollars. He actually might have over a hundred million dollars when it's all said and done. And he didn't even start investing till he was like 35. All of this because they got over the fear and the concept that investing is risky and dangerous. In fact, you can join our Everything Money community and talk to this guy directly. Number three, I need to hire a professional. Nope. Like in the previous story, my buddy's wife thought that only a professional could handle their money. No! By learning how to invest and then translating this process to a spouse, you can become your family's financial planner. Think about your job. If you're an expert already, why couldn't you be an expert in something else? The only thing stopping you is you. And guess what? These financial planners and advisors are just like you and me. They went to school. They applied for a job. They need to work to make money. Some have more training than others. You never know. And actually, some of them have absolutely no idea what they're doing. Like many people, maybe in your career. Their fees can straight up cost you over a million dollars over a lifetime. And when it's all said and done, they rarely beat the market return anyway. If you're gonna bend over backwards and drive to and from work, miss time with your kids and your spouse, and take all that stress in making this money, you don't have to hand it to some stranger at Charles Schwab and hopes he does you right. My life savings, so uh, try not to lose it. And if you think this is gibberish, then go ahead right now and email your financial planner and ask him for your returns. I guarantee they're bad when you compare them to the market. Misconception number four is the worst one, delaying this. I'll just worry about this when I'm older. Everything's fine. If you're not saving at the earliest point in your life you can, even $20 a month, you are doing yourself an incredible disservice and you won't feel this catastrophe until you're too old. 
saving a very small amount and starting early can be the difference of you working well into your late 70s versus you having tens of millions of dollars. So here's our Everything Money Retirement Calculator, and this tool is incredible. Say you're 25 years old and you want to retire at 65. The annualized returns of a great index fund like SBY is returned around 9.9 .9 per year. So let's count on that. Our annualized return during retirement, we'll pull that back to six. We expect to live to be 90 years old. Inflation's usually three and a half percent. And say your annual income at the moment is 75,000. Let's start with a small number. Say you have $5,000 saved. And you add only $1,000 a year to retirement. And you don't even increase this. When we hit generate, we can see that at the age of 65, you'll have about $648,000 saved up. But the bad part is if you wait, it gets worse. Say I wait to 35 years old. My 650 grand goes down to $246,000. And if I wait till I'm 45, forget about it. I'm now down to just 89,000 bucks. So if you're watching this, you're probably new to investing. So let's go with some real numbers and get you excited about this. Say you're 30 years old and you have $5,000 saved up. Let's increase our annual savings from 1,000 to 5,000. And check this out. At 65 years old, you'll now have $1.4 million. And this calculator lets you keep adding numbers and seeing what you'll have. It's incredibly helpful. Take this up to 6,000 and your 1.4 million goes to 1.7 million. But you really gotta get started now. The key is not to let these numbers discourage you. If you haven't started, you can start today. But if you haven't, maybe this video is your wake up call. Misconception number five is I have to be rich to invest. This is a very common thought process. I have to be wealthy before I can invest. And you have to straight up flip this in your mind. You must invest to become wealthy. And you might be thinking, I don't have enough money in my life to get this done. But maybe you just need somebody to kick you in the pants and say, just freaking do it. You're probably watching this video on a nice phone. You have Wi-Fi. You're paying subscriptions to Netflix and Hulu, yet you don't have the time or the energy or the money to invest. It's all BS. Hell, you might even have a subscription. You don't even remember what you're paying for. Look at your bank statement. I have these all the time. Just back off one of those subscriptions and put that money in an investment account. You will instantly transition from an excuse maker to an investor. And most people probably don't even want to hear this, but you have to sacrifice. And like me, sometimes I need to hide the money in an investment portfolio. I need to hide it from myself because I love spending too. You can go down the path to become incredibly wealthy, but it takes persistence, discipline, commitment, and some sacrifices. I often hear people say, I just don't have the money. It's there, I guarantee it. I challenge you to look at your expenditures over the last three months and find trends of spending. Perhaps you can cut some of those out. This is where you can find an extra $20 a week to invest. And the misconception that kills me the most is when people say, I don't have time for that. I wrote the script for this video while we are traveling in the car with my wife coming back from a vacation. I just made time for it. You have to have the courage to look yourself in the mirror and say, just get this done. The more you delay, the less money you'll have, the less money your children will have, and the harder it will be on all of you. If you make time for this, you'll start seeing the hypocrisy of other people in this world. All those people saying, I don't have time to do this, and I don't have time to do that, yet they're posting their newest Wordle on Facebook and showing off their great finds at garage sales. Recognizing this can serve as a daily reminder that you're doing the right thing, while other people might be squandering their time away and then telling everyone they're busy. If you can overcome these six misconceptions, you can become a seasoned investor in no time. You'll be confident, you'll be disciplined, and you'll have a plan moving forward to invest in great stocks and great companies that'll help you accumulate generational wealth for years to come. Your wife will be proud of you, your kids will wanna get involved, I guarantee it, and you can be your family's leader. So it's a win-win all around. So if you wanna take the next step in investing, check out this video where we talk about opening a Roth IRA and how it can make you a multimillionaire. The money you put in is after tax, meaning that the money grows and compounds tax-free.